How you doing? Season 3, this is Hybrid Steel and this is the Rusty Nuts Garage. We have an order. And when I say an order, a couple of videos ago, well in Season 2, I put out a shout to you guys. If you wanted to become part of my videos and have a car built for you, then chuck a message. That's all you had to do. Now, a lot of people did. And that means I've got an entire season's worth of content made up by cars because of you this is a 1969 ford mustang now the mod you can get pick up from the steam workshop right now but i had to actually go and buy all the parts for this car to make sure they all fit first because this is a mod it comes with a lot of extra bits and pieces so i had to bring this in I had to go and get all the spare parts first they're on order and i will be getting them very very shortly as you can see red interior this is very unique which means it's going to be a special car and this one is a shout out to next big thing he wanted the ford mustang he wanted me to spend 90 grand on it and uh i think we spent a thousand on the car we've got a comfortable budget for this one so gonna get into the teardown now and then we're gonna send this off to steve and danny the straightening out make sure it's all clean and everything we've got to build an engine because this rust bucket didn't come with one that's not too bad. Engines don't cost too much, and it means we can, we've got a bit of freedom on it. So, hopefully, you guys enjoy this one. I'm going to strip this one down. All good. Okay, so a little bit about this car before we go through it. Now, he did request that he wanted it a little muscled out. He wanted it to look like Eleanor from the film Gone in 60 Seconds. Lovely car. Obviously, it's not in the game, but we can make this car look like it. I'm pretty sure we can do the stripes down the front. I'm sure we can get the gunmetal grey as well, which is pretty cool. Um, all the parts for this car will be turning up at some point and um yeah now the idea is to actually get this all straightened out and clean obviously the interior needs to be re-upholstered so we've got to redo that as well and um we're obviously gonna have to straighten out the car get it nice and clean get it all nice and like powder coated just basically make sure that it doesn't rust like it, as you can see in front of it right now because gonna be honest this looks absolutely bloody terrible but on the plus side we're here to restore and we're here to make people happy so no, we got ninety nine. I know we got eighty nine thousand dollars to play with this car. We can do it, and then we've change. So yeah, it's all good. Okay, so a big thing about the engine is that obviously we want it a little bit more powerful. We don't just want the little one carb engine. So what we're going to do is we're going to build a slightly bigger engine for this car to make it a little bit more grunty, to make it have a little bit more anger, which is what I want it to have. I want this car to have attitude. And going by the description of the customer who wanted this, he said he wanted it to be a bit more sort of muscled up. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to put a bigger engine in this. I'm going to see how things go. So yeah, I've got to, re I've got to build the engine now. It's going to be fun.
Well, there we go. A two carb OHV SS motor. It's going to go into the uh, Mustang when we get it back. It has got tuning parts on it, so it's a little bit more punchy, a little bit more powerful, and actually really looking forward to uh, seeing what this thing can do. I haven't built one of these before because normally we get stuck in like the stacker uh, engines, so this would be a welcome change. This normally would put out about 380-ish horsepower, so I'm, I'm intrigued to see where we go when it comes to the uh, when it comes to the testing. Let's put it that way. That was good. Actually, I like this build quite a lot. It's it's all coming together and it's all good. Right now, on that note, um, we need to buy a load of stuff for the under. So what I need to do is I need to go through the old list of all the parts we've got. They're all rusted up. They're all crappy. So what I need to do is I need I need to buy a list of parts and get them all shipped in. Hopefully by that time all of the parts will be here the car will be finished like body work wise and then we can slowly put everything back together and hopefully it'll be all good okay so tires made it so i couldn't get a six spoke rim that sucks but on a five spoke this actually looks good enough now here's a picture of the actual rim used on the car that doesn't look too far off it apart from the fact it's a five spoke rim and the rivets there's no rivets cutting to them i understand it don't worry i mean i hope these actually look really nice on the car we haven't tested it yet because we haven't built the car we haven't got the car back yet it's taking a little bit longer because it's an older model it was found in the junkyard yeah it's it's, it's ruined but we are doing a very very good you know steve and danny are killing it over there they, they know what they're doing we'll get it back in a couple of days time you won't recognize them it'll be just like but it's so cool Hopefully I haven't screwed up on size. Let's put it that way. Worst comes worst, I have to order in a set of 18s. That's the only worst worst case scenario. Right, let's just get the suspension and bits put back together. Thankfully we had a load of these in storage. We can just be like, yeah, it's all good. Just read them out. Awesome. All right, cool. So engine check. Wheels check. Suspension check. Let's get into the rest of it, shall we? Okay, so that's the entire undercarriage done. Thank God is all I have to say. Now, we've got the exhaust system to put on as well, which is going to be okay. And then we've got to put the engine in, make sure all that marries properly and it's all good. So the main reason why we put the tyres on first is so when we put the body kit on, we can actually see the gaps between the body kit and the wheel, make sure it all fits properly. Worst comes to worst, it doesn't. We have to skin it off a little bit, make sure it's... You know, make sure it's nice and cool. I am hoping that the uh, the body kit turns up at some point. We should be fine, but you just never really know. And that's the worst part is just the waiting process of all these parts. It turns up eventually. All gravy, baby. Actually looks all right. I mean, I'm not sure about. I don't think the rims are big enough. I don't think so. Hopefully, when the body kit turns up, we actually get to see. Um, we haven't even got an old panel that didn't come with one so we're just waiting worst comes worst we have to buy some new tires we just have to make them a bit bigger apart from that we're all right, all right I think the next thing we need to do is we need to put the engine in and then we need to get the engine bay sorted because we're missing quite a few bits thankfully we put this in then we know what we're missing all right spot of good news the body kit turned up which means we can put it all on see if it all fits if the wheels aren't good enough then well we're gonna have to mess around and put some new wheels on thankfully the other wheels that i did order just in case have turned up but worst comes to worst i don't use them i use them on another project at another point because they are a good set of wheels and i just want them to fit now so i'm gonna stick the body kit all back on and we're gonna see how things fit and how they look and we should be okay well, the kit fit. It's looking all right, this, and I'm going to be honest. Actually, uh, I think we need the bigger wheels. I really do. They just don't look big enough for the actual arches, which sucks a little bit, but I sort of figured this was going to happen, so that's why I prepared a new set. That looks a bit better. Right, okay, so I can deal with that. This now needs to go over to paint. We need to get that gun metal grey and the black strips down the front. I'm not sure if we can get the black stripes. I mean, we could try, but we got to go through the test pass further. There's still a lot of work to do, even if it does look superficial. Back in a bit. Okay, so we finished it. It looks absolutely splendid. 
Now the red interior came with the car originally, I didn't really want to change that, now I know the interior of Eleanor was black, but I think the red gives it a bit more, I don't know, characteristic. The problem with this is that we couldn't get the striping pattern, unfortunately it doesn't come with the game, so I, I couldn't have got that myself, but this actually came out really really nice. I've got to be honest, I actually really like this, and uh, I hope you guys have enjoyed this build. Well, there we have it. All done, all good, all dusted. Bit of an odd request that he did want a 71 instead of a, you know, instead of the official sort of car, but you know, I've got to be honest, came out all right. I actually like this and I like the look I like the look of it. I like the shape of it. Obviously, you can tell it's not a fast pack, which is what Eleanor from the uh, Gone in 60 Seconds actually was, which means there's no vent on the side. It's not as like, you know, well, you, you get the gist. On the plus side, it came out really nice, and we came in under budget as well, which is amazing. This car is now worth 50 grand. There you go. So we did all the parts, all the labor, all the stuff. He gave me a, he gave me a budget of $90,000. We did it, and we're selling him to 50, so he gets to keep some money. So thank you very much for kicking by. This has been Hyper Steel. If you have enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit that like, subscribe, and notification button below for all other updates. I'll be back here with a brand new video live stream or whatever else I do on the channel. And in the, uh, in the meantime, go and check out some of the other stuff. There's a video popping up over there. You can go and check that one out. Might be worth it. Peace out. Have fun. Enjoy everything you guys do. Go home! Fist bump to you.